and now you all are coming to uh, do some informational picketing and the timing and the appropriateness of it couldn't be better and it's that kind of strength and that kind of unity that really helps us at the table. We have had a, a spectacular turnout, uh, better than we could have expected. I believe we have 58 total pilots here. As you hear the, the horns honking, we're hearing a lot of support for us going by. Uh, we're out here because we're tired of being abused with bad work rules, low pay, and a company that doesn't want to treat us like the proud individuals and group that we are. I think it's great. I think it's great that the pilots showed up and to represent the union, represent what we stand for, and trying to make a change in our contract. We're here to show the company that we're assets and we contribute to the success of this airline. We are not an expense. I've got to say, you know, as a former chairman of a union, it's it's important that the membership understand that we are individually the collective bargaining unit and there's more to it than paying your dues and expecting the union to take care of you. This is my husband here, so I'm, I'm here to support him and all the other pilots that are here. After three years he still hasn't made as much as I did my first year as a, as a nurse. Uh, the news media has all been here. I think we've had uh, five different news teams, including what looks to be we're going to have probably a live feed at noon. A uh, interview with Pat that aired last night on local TV. The word's really getting out. It's it's been kind of exciting. Do what's right is the bottom line. We're here to we're here to fly our planes and provide a service to the to the country, and and we want to get justly compensated for that. The company needs to understand that not only are the pilots involved, but our families are are well behind us, and we're in this for the long haul.